In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow goji berries from store-bought dried goji berries, which look like this. And to begin, all we really need to do is open each goji berry and scrape out the little uh, seeds that you can quite easily see. They can be a bit sticky, but uh, they're not too hard to get out once you find a method. The first method that I tried was using the back of a butter knife to scrape the seeds out. This method, um, there was a lot of pulp that came with the seeds, which isn't really a problem. But uh, I tried another method which seemed to work much better for me, and that was just to break open the goji berries with my fingers, and then roll the seeds out of the fruit with my thing fingers as well. And that seemed to work quite well. So if I was to do this again, the second method is definitely preferable. And this is what the seeds look like when we're done. They're very small. Um, they can still be stuck to a little bit of berry, but that's not really a problem. Next, we simply need to drop a few seeds into a soil of some sort in a small pot. I'm using a soilless uh, mix, which is just cocoa qua and um, some perlite. So I'm just making a little hole. I'm dropping a few seeds in. They're quite easy to pick up on the tip of your finger. Just dropping them in the hole and then covering it up. I also give them a little homemade label just so I can keep track of what's what. And then we just need to put the, uh, the pots in a warm spot. So I often use the top of my grow light, uh, which can be quite warm but not too warm. But if you have a heated propagator, you'll get much better results and the seeds will come up much more quickly. So I'm actually using both. Just a week or so later, we've got these little seedlings coming up. And these are just the very start of our goji berry plants. They're quite um, fragile, they're quite small and delicate, but uh, let me show you another two weeks further on. They start to grow quite quickly and they start to get quite strong. And as you can see, uh, there's a, a lot of large leaves just coming from the top of the, the stem, which is also thickening up quite a bit. At this point, because they're quite crowded, I like to give them a little bit more space. So they can be easily just uprooted just by pulling very, very gently and the root will come out smoothly and easily. Then I just make a small hole in the center of some more soil. Just a nice, small, deep hole. And then I can pop that root all the way back down in. It can be a little bit fiddly. So we push it down and then we push the soil back around the, uh, the seedling. And I'll do that one more time just to show you again. So we just pull it up very gently and it comes up quite easily. Then we'll make a hole in the center of the soil And then we just pop that seedling back down into that hole. And push the soil around the seedling. And then we're done. Now a goji berry plant needs to stay indoors for the first year or so, or it needs to stay above freezing for the first year. So you'll have to overwinter it at least once. The following year it should be hardy, but you won't get any fruit until the second year. So what I have here are some two-year-old goji berry plants, uh, which I bought online. They come in the post. Uh, they're dormant currently, but there are a few little leaves starting to pop through. So I need to bury these, uh, these roots down into the soil up to about this point here, which is where they were previously buried. And then just wait and we should get goji berries this year. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. And if you liked the video, it would be great if you'd press the like button. You can also join me on Facebook, Real Vince Samios. Thanks. Bye now.